Hi everyone. So in this video, we're going to be learning about elastic and the elastic property. So let's open up the first file, which is elastic property smocking. Elastic is a property of a line or segment in Clo. So in order to access this, you're going to use your edit pattern tool to click on any segment. You can click on under lines or you can just click on the pattern outline. I'm going to click on the side seam. In the property editor, you'll see that there's an elastic property, which you can check on. And then you get a couple of new options. There's strength, ratio, segment length, and total length. The one that you're going to be using the most is ratio. So you'll see it says 80. This actually means that the line will shrink 80% to the original 100% of the pattern uh, length. So if my pattern length is 24, you'll notice that the new segment length is now 19. 19 is around 80% of 24. If I turn on simulation, my line in the 3D pattern has shrunk. And then you can adjust the ratio. So if you want this to be 50%, you would just enter in 50, and now my 3D line has shrunk. The new segment length is 12.17, which is definitely half of 24.33. You can also change the elastic by based on the segment length you want for your finish length. So if I change my segment length to 18, my line will become 18 in the 3D pattern but it will remain um, 24 in the 2D side. This allows you to create a relaxed length versus a extended length. So if you're working with elastics or specific specs, you can adjust it accordingly. Okay, so now let's create our smocking. I'm going to use my edit pattern tool and right click on the bottom hem of my sleeve. I'm going to choose offset as internal line. Um, you can play with your distance and number of offsets, but I did 0.5 and I think five or six lines. Then as lines are selected, I'm going to turn on elastic and then simulation to see the gathering and how tight my sleeve is. I'm going to, I can adjust it as I go um, to make sure that it's the correct tightness. Or if you have a specific number you want to enter in, you can do that too. Um, if you see that your sleeve is a bit blocky and like not nicely wrinkled, just turn down the particle distance to five and then re-simulate. So now I have my smocking effect applied. Um, you can see the gathers having more detail and the line where my stitching would be. So in real life, this would be your sewing an elastic stitch to your garment and then um, you'd be able to like kind of pull on it and create real smocking. But on Clo, you're just adding elastic to your internal lines. I also want to add a top stitch. So in the property, um, the presets, I'm gonna drag over the heavy top stitch just so you can see it better. Make sure your offset is zero um, in the property editor and then you can change your color and the, any of the other settings as you like. Then I'm going to apply my top stitch using my um, segment top stitch tool. And then if there's a point on one of your lines, you can use the um, free top stitch tool. So you can kind of see that it's applying the top stitch over my internal line and then we're done with our smocking. Next, we're gonna be using elastic as mobile on tape. Mobile on tape is a stabilizer that's usually put inside knit garment seams in order to make sure those seams don't stretch out as much. We're gonna be using them in the exact same way, um, just using our elastic property. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn simulation on. You'll see that because the ruffles are pretty heavy, everything is stretching out on this pattern, on this garment. I want the neck and the um, armholes to be stabilized. So I'm gonna select them with my edit pattern tool. 
and I'm going to turn elastic on. I want my ratio to be 100, meaning that nothing is going to stretch and nothing is going to shrink. So 100% of the um, 2D pattern line should equal the 3D pattern line. I can check this. If I uh, turn on simulation, you'll see that everything has kind of straightened out a bit and um, stopped being so warped. And then when I click on the line, I can check the segment length to my, 3D, my 2D pattern length. And if they match, then I'm all good to go. So the next file, we're going to actually be creating an elastic band. Let's open up number three, and you're gonna see a men's pant pattern. I want to quickly sew this up. So if you don't know how to sew, we do have a sewing video that you can watch to learn, but I'm just gonna speed through this. I'm gonna use my segment sewing tool um, after arranging my pattern pieces around my avatar. The trick to this one is to arrange the um, waistband first. So that little rectangle pattern is actually the elastic and that's um, gonna go inside the waistband. Then once I've arranged it, I'm gonna make a symmetric pattern and another shortcut is to use control F to quickly align both patterns. So I'm just gonna sew and you can watch me to make sure that your sewing line is correct. When I sew the elastic to the pants pattern, I wanna make sure that I grab that elastic on both um, the front and the back. So I'm holding down shift. And if you make a mistake, you can always control Z to undo. And then the one thing to note is that the top sewing line, I want it to be turned because my elastic is going to be inside my pant. So now I'm turning on simulation and everything's falling down because the elastic isn't actually acting as a stiff elastic band, it's stretching with the pattern. So this is where you're gonna use the elastic property. My elastic band is actually to the relaxed length of my spec. Um, and then my uh, actual pants pattern is the extended length. If I turn on elastic for all those lines of the elastic band and set them to 100, then I'm gonna make sure that my elastic is the correct um, relaxed length. So when I'm done, I can turn on simulation and you can see that my band is at the correct position on the avatar and it's like drawing in the pants pattern. And I um, turned this, the uh, particle distance down to five just to make sure that you can kind of see all the wrinkles. And like with other elastic bands and elastic um, sew lines, you can add some tough stitching. Once again, I'm editing my top stitch in the property editor just to make sure the offset is zero and I can change the color so that it's more visible. Cool. And now we can also add some puckering, which if you've seen the pressure video, you can use puckering to express more detailed gathering. Uh, just because 3D, um, the particle distance determines how much gathering there can be. Sometimes in real life, you'll notice maybe more wrinkles. Um, so you can use puckering to express those wrinkles without overworking your computer or making your particle distance super, super low. Apply puckering, click on the default puckering, and then let's pick the fabric that we're using. You can kind of scroll through them and pick whatever fabric that you want. Um, it should match with the, um, the fabric that you're using just so it looks more realistic. Then I'm gonna use segment puckering. Um, the puckering tools are in the 2D toolbar. I'm gonna click on each line that I want to apply puckering to. And then 
Back to the default puckering settings, you can change the distance between each wrinkle and you can choose how large the wrinkles are. So these numbers, usually I just play with them. Um, the slide is really helpful. You can adjust it based on what you think your garment sh should look like or a reference or design it however you want. Um, one of the tricks to puckering is that I've used the edit puckering tool and click on the lines. There'll be an option to flip the line or have the puckering on both sides of the line. So if you're doing an elastic waistband, you probably want the elastic on both sides. So I'm just adjusting some of these settings so I can get the look that I want. If you like, you can also flip through the different fabrics um, to see if something looks more realistic for you. I generally use like polyester and nylon um, for basketball shorts, so that might be the best. Though if you have cotton shorts, then you should fit cotton shorts. So that's an elastic waistband. <laughs>